Welcome everyone to this new Silverstone Track Day vlog and I really hope you like that intro because I, it took me three to four hours just to edit that one minute clip matching all the music to different scenes. Anyways guys, I really want to tell you what I'm going to be showcasing in this vlog so I'm going to use this clip to do that. So first, for, first things first, this is a, a fun vlog really. I don't really test a lot of products in this Track Day vlog and I'm not going to be telling you about a lot of different products. This is just going to be a nice kind of vlog where we're just having a lot of fun and you know we got two sessions and we were absolutely on it in those two sessions even though it was absolutely freezing and we got a, a lot of rain afterwards. Now first things first I'm going to be showing some lap times also chasing uh, Ducati V4R second year in a row and then we're going to be talking to Taylor McKenzie British super stock uh, rider and his dad three-time British superbike champion Neil McKenzie who runs the Yamaha Masterclass and I'm going to be showing you a lot of different bikes and we're going to be chatting a little bit about the new um, Aprilia RSV4 factory 1100 which we couldn't really test uh, unfortunately but we'll show you that clip anyways so guys please stay tuned get yourself a cup of tea and I'm going to be dividing this video into different chapters so if you want to come back to this video and watch your favorite section you can do that so please take this uh, track day vlog a little bit light-hearted because it's just going to be a lot of fun a bit of music some scenes and some information i want to give you as well in this track day vlog and i'll show you a little bit of my bike as well so like i said get yourself a cup of tea put this video on telly and enjoy welcome everyone to chasing tents my name is abby and welcome to a very wet silverson it is one of those things, it happens sometimes. We came here in the morning, had uh, two sessions, um, dry and it was fantastic. The temperatures were low, but uh, everything was, uh, was fantastic. The bike was great, everything was, was great. Unfortunately, then uh, it started raining pretty bad and it started ra raining pretty bad, pretty quickly. We weren't expecting the rain until about 2, 2.30, uh, but the rain came at about 11.50, which was uh, unbelievable. I actually feel sorry for the uh, for a few people who've come here for the Yamaha Masterclass. The Masterclass is still going on, but they paid a lot of money to be here. And uh, it's not fun when uh, you paid four, five, six hundred pounds and uh, and you've got rain and you've only, you only get two sessions. Um, anyways, what I'll do is I'll show you some bikes around the pits because not much is happening. Some people are going home at the moment. So I'll show you some bikes in the pits and then I'll come back shortly and I'll tell you what we're going to be doing. Okay guys, welcome back. Let's quickly uh, show you a, a quick uh, snippet uh, with one of the instructors to tell you a little bit more about Yamaha R1 Masterclass at Silverstone. So uh, some people uh, do it on their own bike, some people can do it on the Yamaha R1M or R1 and you can actually go around the track with the instructor 
uh, at different sessions as many times as you want, depending on your fatigue levels uh, and depending on your learning capacity and all sorts. Um, you know, the, you can book a Yamaha R1 Masterclass uh, at the Silverson website and uh, you can learn a lot. So let's hear from the instructor. Hi, Neil McKenzie here at a slightly damp Silverstone circuit today. Anyway, we're still having fun because we're on the Silverstone Neil McKenzie Masterclass. The Masterclass involves a ratio of two pupils to one instructor, and it's basically one-to-one -one instruction all day long. You can also hire one of these amazing machines, the Yamaha R1M, and you will be riding on the MotoGP circuit, which is just incredible. These are incredible pieces of machinery we've got the best instructors friendly helpful they will improve your riding they'll help you with body position throttle control the lines out on the circuit and of course you will enjoy that amazing motorcycle so hopefully one day we'll see you at the mckenzie masterclass here at silverstone what's the best way to book it the best way to book it is go to www.silverstone.co.uk and you'll see bike and track days on there. Click the link, you'll see Masterclass, and then you can book on, and then we'll hopefully see you on the day. Welcome back everyone, uh, people have started to pack but I thought I'll give you a bit of the story. So session one and two, that's all we had and uh, session one obviously is the first session. I can show you some footage of that but the main session was session two uh, which was around uh, 11 o'clock uh, in the morning and, uh, and it was still cold but it was absolutely born dry. So uh, what I really want to show you is some uh, chasing Ducati V4R again, second year in a row. So just like last year, even this year, I think something happens to me when I see a Ducati V4 or a V4R, especially on the racetrack. You just, I've only got 178 horsepower on my 2015 RSV4 RF. And when I see a over 200 horsepower Ducati V4R in the fast group, uh, especially at Silverstone, I just get overexcited. And so there are a few laps behind that Ducati and then I finally managed to overtake him. Um, I spoke to the rider, he's a good friend of mine. He's brought a, a brand new Aprilia RSV4 factory, uh, 1100, and he's brought his British Superbike, and he's also brought his V4R. So he was getting fatigued after lap five, so I, I overtook him. So I don't take um, too much cr credit for that, because if a, if a man is fatigued, he's not performing that well. Anyways, so let's show you this, this footage, and then I'll come back and I'll show you a little bit of my bike.
Welcome back, everyone. Now I'm going to show you a quick interview uh, with uh, Taylor McKenzie, who is an absolute fast bloke uh, in British Superbikes, and uh, he found a seat for 2021. Uh, he's got a YouTube channel, and uh, he has the YouTube channel to thank him for that. Uh, and also, he is really quick. So I asked him the question, what is the magic uh, ingredient, uh, the, the secret to uh, go faster at Silverstone? So here's a, a little snippet uh, of the uh, interview. I hope you found it, uh, hope find it helpful, and then I'll show you something else. What's the secret? A good lap at Silverstone. The secret to a good lap at Silverstone is to make sure you keep the bike fast and flowing. Don't try and stop and brake too hard. Good catch. I see a lot of people that scrub off too much speed at Silverstone, so just let your bike um, flow around the track, stay relaxed, and keep your speed rolling. That's the key. All right? Like and share and sub subscribe. <laughs> and you can subscribe to me while you're at it. <laughs> Yeah, if you want to, like, I'm, I'm here, Taylor McKenzie. I will have some more track day tips if track days are your thing. Hang on. Ben, what do you think about the new RSV4 uh, factory? <laughs> oh, mate, it's an epic wet bike. Oh. <laughs> it's great fun in the wet, mate, I tell you. I think I just won fast group because no one else is out. Well, welcome to a very wet Silverstone. We knew it was going to be wet around 3 o'clock, but we didn't know it was going to be that wet at 11.53 precisely. And we were going to test the new Aprilia RSV4 factory 1100 on the track, 1099cc. Unfortunately, we couldn't do that. Uh, one of my mates who owns the bike went out um, and did two, three laps uh, in the wet, but it's just pointless testing a bike in the wet. It just does not make sense. So we were hoping to get at least two sessions on this bike to really compare it to the previous Aprilia. So I've ridden the 18, I've ridden the 17, I've ridden the 15. So I could, um, and I've owned an Aprilia for three years now. So I could have got a, a really good picture of uh, what this bike is capable of and what this bike is all about now. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Uh, but anyways, uh, you know, we uh, live to fight another day, another track day. We'll test this bike and we'll take it from there. And until then, I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, it's time to show you my fastest lap of the day. I say a day, we only got one proper session. Anyways, it was a 2 minutes 31. But what I really want to tell you is you can actually come back to the pits and, uh, you know, look at your lap times if you're doing it on an app or if you've got an I2M dash. But what I tend to do is I, t I tend to come back home and then look at all the laps and everything. And I did a vlog, maybe two Silverson uh, track days ago, where I showed you how the Track Day Genius app can really help you. And the, the app really guides you through on where you're slow, where you're quick, and, and how everything kind of works together. So my best lap time at Silverson is at 2 minute 27 using this app. Best is at 2 minute 26 on the i2M. But 2 minute 27 is on this app, and then Today I did a 2 minute 31 and I can now compare where I'm slow, where I'm fast. Now I'm, going to not, I'm not going to show that in this video because I've already done that and I'll leave a link in the description if you really want to see how that works. So I really know when you're four seconds slower from your best time, you know where you're slower. I mean, I was slow at Maggots and Beckett's all over the place. So I know where I was slower. But if you really want to chase those tents, it's really important to kind of match your previous lap times using an app like this and it can really guide you through. So watch that previous Silverson vlog. I'll leave a link in the descri description and I'll tell you where the timeline is, where you can go and, and watch it. But for now, let's have a look at this lap.
But along with the uh, Yamaha Masterclass, uh, which is organized by uh, Neil McKenzie, we also have the Yamaha Track Experience. These are the bikes. If you are interested, you can do it through the Yamaha people. Let me actually show you if the bike still catches my voice. Here we go, Yamaha. It's actually called Yamaha Track Experience. So have a look online and uh, I just found them. Uh, they had some lovely Yamahas there, some R6s and some R1s. And I thought I'll put them in the video for you guys. So uh, there's a second option. Uh, so you've got the Yamaha Masterclass by Silverstone. And then you've also got these uh, Yamaha Motor Track Day Experience. Welcome back guys, still very cold, very, very windy, uh, very crap. Um, Silverstone, not really uh, much to show you. Um, I'll show you bikes here and there whenever I can. That's all I can. Some people are still here. Ambulance is going around. I hope no one's crashed. Is it? There is it, there is it. I hope no one's crashed. Anyways, uh, let me show you my bike, uh, some bits and bobs really, and then uh, just show you how I mount uh, cameras. This question I get asked every week, how I mount my cameras. I've done a full video on it. If you want to catch, look at that video, you can, it's in the description link, but I'll just quickly go through that with you. Again, second year in a row, because I get this question so often, and then I will uh, maybe wrap it up for the day. So here we are, my lovely bike, which I'm very proud of. Um, again, I've got um, a ram mount, which is meant for a mirror, but I put that mount here with a screw. This is a place for your mirror blankets or your mirrors, and that is absolutely solid as anything. Or always buy original ram mounts. That's one thing I always say to people. Another beautiful way to mount your, uh, your GoPro is get a ram mount uh, in stem mount, then you've got this ram mount two-way adapter and then you've got another ram mount ball at the bottom with a GoPro attachment and that's how you attach your GoPro and make sure you put this, this is only four or five pounds on eBay or Amazon, it just cuts out all the noise. Uh, this is just a secondary GPS transponder I've got and it's a good thing because today we had some issue with the I2M uh, GPS, uh, it just wasn't recording. Uh, any lap time so uh, when I go home this will be fantastic I can uh, get my lap times through this um, I've shown you my bike in uh, a previous video last year but I can go through that again I've got uh, uh, obviously lever guards from extreme components Brembo RCS 19 quick action throttle domino with the white cam jet prime switches that's a second pair of switch to control the i2m ignore that pink color on the i2m it's gone a bit funny i don't know what's happened uh, i've got all ins fkr cartridges um, i'm moving from litec clip-ons to extreme components because they are a bit uh, uh, longer you get better leverage uh, i've got a kind of um, a mount for my reservoir which was done by pcr performance uh, so it just gets rid of the reservoir away from uh, uh, everything else on the other side i have uh, your Brembo uh, switch which moves the lever if you have a bit of a brake fade and stuff. I've got a power commander switch so off means you have a baffle on, on means you have a baffle off, then you got jet prime switches again. I've got a Brembo clutch perch with domino grips this side and I also have ordered another lever guard for that side because lever guards not only protect you from crashes from with other people, um, you know, you pressing brake and all that, but it also, when your bike falls down, they protect the front of the bike as well. I'll, I've done a crash protection video. Uh, you can see more of that uh, there. Uh, how things are coming along. I mean, I put some extreme components rear set. They are absolutely brilliant. The grip on these uh, pegs are, are, are stunning. Um, and what else to report? Uh, everything else looks good. My suspension, I hardened it a bit. Um, I've got a all-ins cartridge kit on it, which is uh, a racing kit. And uh, even though I, I put it on the harder setting, and I've got a, I had a bit of a uh, tank slapper uh, or a, a death wobble, whatever people want to call it. Um, and I will show you the clip of that. And after I had that um, tank slapper, I changed the setting on my steering damper to quite stiff. 
what else on my bike? I've got double protection for the uh, Akropovich. I'm still collecting data on the over suspension device, so I'm not going to release anything um, at the moment. I'm track by track, I'm, I'm collecting data, so when I really come to a conclusion, then I'll make a video on that. Uh, everything else, uh, you guys have seen my bike, but I will do a, that's a constant by the way, it just lifts the bike up. I can move it in any direction I want to. You know, it's, it's just absolutely brilliant. Then I've got a, in the rear, this is a little bit complicated. You don't have to make things so complicated the way I've done it, but this is what I had available and I've just set that up. Uh, a 360 degree camera with a ram mount attachment, double ball, and then a ram mount ball here, which is a GoPro mount, and that's just a GPS transponder for the i2M. So yeah, not much else to talk about today, but that's all I've got uh, for now. Um, rear TTX GP, that's coming along really well. Ah, by the way, Metzler TDs, perfect test for Metzler TDs today. Absolutely brilliant, weather was absolutely rubbish, and uh, you know, no signs of any cold tears, no problems. You know, tires are, are absolutely brilliant. You know, I had Pirelli SC zeros and SC ones at similar temperature two years ago and they absolutely blistered left right center so yeah i'll catch you guys in a bit just like that Silverson comes to an end we've not really done much after two sessions and uh, this is it it's the end of the day uh, it's an early end but uh, what can you do uh, we we thought it was going to be dry until three o'clock honestly you know and uh, we've had some great days at Silverson uh, you know I've had some great laps here you know some great lap times two minute 26 I'm so proud of that but but unfortunately you get days like this you know it's part and parcel of you living in UK We've got amazing motorsport history. We've got some amazing tracks. We've got some excellent training uh, happening in this country. But it is one of those things. Sometimes this happens, it rains and it just ruins. I'm just gutted that I spent 259 pounds. It's a lot of money uh, to come here. You know, I booked it last year and um, I didn't want to sell it uh, because um, you just, I don't want to be, I don't want to sell a track just because it's wet, you know. I, I want to come and experience the whole, the whole wetness thing. Anyways, guys, look after yourself. Uh, take care. Uh, thank you for following me. Thank you for watching my stuff. Uh, please do like uh, the video if you um, if you feel the video was entertaining. It wasn't much, unfortunately, today. But please do subscribe as well. Look after yourself and take care.